Hey, sports card fans, it's John Wade Boggs fan. Hope you're all doing well. The 1951 Burke Ross set is composed of 72 cards featuring star athletes from a number of different sports. Anchored by 40 baseball players, the rest of the 1951 Burke Ross set offers a mix of football and basketball players, as well as boxers, golfers, figure skaters, and Olympic athletes. Officially designated W532-1 in the American Card Catalog, the 1951 Burke Ross set is also known as Hit Parade of Champions. This is the tagline for the set, which highlights champions across many athletic fields. With the Philadelphia Phillies and New York Yankees having won their respective pennants the previous year, the baseball portion of the checklist is dominated by players from those teams. 1951 Burke Ross cards were issued as two card panels and released in four separate series with 18 cards in each. The cards are numbered by their series, so numbers 1-1 through 1-18 are the first series, numbers 2-1 through 2-18 covers the second series, and so on. Baseball subjects are found on the first 10 cards in each series, making the baseball set complete at 40 cards. While the actual card pairings on the 51 Burke Ross panels are mixed, the majority group consecutive odd and even numbered cards, for example, numbers 1 and 3, 2 and 4. The final cards in each series, numbers 17 and 18, are featured on the same card. Because a perforation is found between the two cards in each panel, intact versions are not as common. The actual 1951 Burke Ross design has the appearance of a subdued 1950 Bowman design. The individual Burke Ross cards are the same basic size at 2 and 1 16th by 2 and a half inches, have a similar uncluttered design, and occasionally use the same player pictures that were used in that Bowman set. Card backs feature basic info, a single line of statistics from 1950, and the card number. Unlike the more common distribution methods, Box sets of 1951 Burke Ross cards were available in the hobby through a single dealer by the name of Bruce Yiko. Yiko was one of the first full-time vintage dealers and had exclusive rights to the distribution of the boxes. Boxes were originally available through his catalog for 1995. While it is not exactly sure how many sets were produced, it is believed that several hundred boxes were ultimately made available. Interesting to note, Joe DiMaggio, who never appeared on a Bowman card and had largely been excluded from sets since the 1949 Leaf set, is the key card. An early card of Whitey Ford appears as well. In this video, I'm going to show the top 10 most valuable cards from the 1951 Burke Ross set based on their PSA 5 values. I'll also give the values of those cards in higher grades, as well as the population count of those grades. As a side note, because most of the cards have very low population counts, the values in some grades might not reflect current prices since it may be a year or two or even more since a copy in that grade has sold. Now, before I get to the top 10, here are the cards that just missed the top 10. At number 15, the Johnny Mize card. At number 14, the Ralph Kiner card. At number 13, the Fred Sanford card. At number 12, the Hank Bauer card. And at number 11, the Bob Lemon card. So, which cards made the top 10 list? Let's go find out. At number 10, we have the Richie Ashburn card. In a PSA 5, there have only been 11 graded copies with a current VCP average price of $46. There have been 17 graded a PSA 6. They sell for around $351. There have been 21 graded a PSA 7. They sell for around $127. There have been seven graded A PSA 8. The last PSA 8 sale was in January of 2023 through eBay and sold for $123. 
there has not been a PSA 9 or 10 copy of the Richie Ashburn card. At number 9, we have the Dom DiMaggio card. In a PSA 5, there have only been 8 graded copies, with a current VCP average price of $47. There have been 13 graded a PSA 6. They sell for around $39. There have been 22 graded a PSA 7. They sell for around $81. There have only been 6 graded a PSA 8. The last PSA 8 sale was in November of 2023 through eBay and sold for $256. There has not been a PSA 9 or 10 graded copy of the Dom DiMaggio card. At number 8. We have the Billy Goodman card. In a PSA 5, there have only been 5 graded copies, with a current VCP average price of $50. There have only been 9 graded a PSA 6. They sell for around $17. There have only been 5 graded a PSA 7. They sell for around $14. There have been 8 graded a PSA 8. The last PSA 8 sale was in January of 2023 through eBay and sold for $91. There has not been a PSA 9 or 10 graded copy of the Billy Goodman card. At number 7, we have the Robin Roberts card. In a PSA 5, there have only been 12 graded copies with a current VCP average price of $50. There have been 15 graded a PSA 6. They sell for around $48. There have been 19 graded a PSA 7. They sell for around $56. There have been 12 graded a PSA 8. The only PSA 8 sale recorded in VCP's database took place in January of 2023 through eBay and sold for $186. And again, there have not been a PSA 9 or 10 graded copy of the Robin Roberts card. At number 6, we have the Phil Rizzuto card. In a PSA 5, there have been 12 graded copies, with a current VCP average price of $90. There have been 33 graded a PSA 6. They sell for around $184. There have been 19 graded a PSA 7. They sell for around $172. There have only been 5 graded a PSA 8. The last PSA 8 sale that took place in January of 2023 through eBay and sold for $141. And again, there has not been a PSA 9 or 10 graded copy of the Phil Rizzuto card. At number 5 we have the Warren Spawn card. In a PSA 5, there have been 19 graded copies with a current VCP average price of $119. There have been 27 graded a PSA 6. They sell for around $156. There have been 18 graded a PSA 7. They sell for around $114. There have been 19 graded a PSA 8. They sell for around $307. Now, there has been one card graded a PSA 9, but there have been no reported PSA 9 sales in VCP's database. And there has not been a PSA 10 graded copy of the Warren Spawn card. At number 4, we have the Yogi Berra card. In a PSA 5, there have been 36 graded copies with a current VCP average price of $203. There have been 52 graded a PSA 6. They sell for around $305. There have been 32 graded a PSA 7. They sell for around $405. There have been 16 graded a PSA 8. The last PSA 8 sale took place in March of this year through eBay and sold for $771. There has not been a PSA 9 or 10 graded copy of the Yogi Berra card. At number 3, we have the Stan Musial card. In a PSA 5, there have been 22 graded copies with a current VCP average price of $325. 
There have been 39 graded A PSA 6. They sell for around $408. There have been 45 graded A PSA 7. They sell for around $404. There have been 26 graded A PSA 8. The last PSA 8 sale took place in February of 2023 through PWCC and sold for $840. There has been one graded A PSA 9, but there's been no reported PSA 9 sales in VCP's database. And there has not been a PSA 10 graded copy of the Stan Musial card. At number 2, we have the Whitey Ford card. In a PSA 5, there have been 17 graded copies, with a current VCP average price of $348. There have been 46 graded A PSA 6. They sell for around $328. There have been 30 graded A PSA 7. They sell for around $417. There have been 9 graded A PSA 8. They sell for around $450. There has been one graded A PSA 9. The only PSA 9 sale in VCP's database took place in August of 2010 through eBay and sold for $700, technically placing the Whitey Ford at the number one spot in terms of PSA 9 graded copies on this list. And there has not been a PSA 10 graded copy of the Whitey Ford card. And of course, at number one, we have the Joe DiMaggio card. In a PSA 5, there have been 31 graded copies, with the current VCP average price of $810. There have been 60 graded A PSA 6. They sell for around $853. There have been 41 graded A PSA 7. They sell for around $1,349. There have been 14 graded A PSA 8. The last PSA 8 sale took place in March of this year through eBay and sold for $1,725. And there has not been a PSA 9 or 10 graded copy of the Joe DiMaggio card. Well, there you go, the top 10 most valuable cards from the 1951 Burke Ross set. As always, would love to know what you think about the set in general and the cards that made the top 10 list. And stay tuned for next week's video where I take a look at the 1952 Burke Ross set. And if you missed either of the last two videos in this series, you can check them out right here. With that, that's all I have for you. So until next time, thanks for watching.